The 2022 New Year Step Up banner is officially here, folks, and we are going to jump in and do some summons. Let's check out the banner. Let's check out the info we've got here. This summon event is a three-round only Step Up summon. So it's still going to be three rounds, but they've done some massive upgrades to this. It's a special summon made up of multi-summons that come in multiple steps. After performing a multi-summon, you'll move on to the next step. About New Year's... Dokkan Festival Step Up Banners, you can perform three rounds. Each round includes five steps. The tenth character of each step is guaranteed to be one of the featured SSR characters. The required number of stones for each step will be different. Basically, each round of this is going to cost you 200 stones. So in total, you have to give yourself a 600 stone budget to cover all three rounds of the Step Up, and I highly recommend you do because here's the big change. A character who can be awakened into an LR is guaranteed upon performing a summon in Step 3, and step five so you are going to be getting two lrs each round so that means in total instead of getting three guaranteed lrs you're going to be getting six which is a humongous w for global and you guys definitely should be summoning on this obviously of course if you're not a whale if you're a mega whale and you've already rainbowed every unit then this wouldn't really apply to you after performing three rounds of the Step Up Summons, the New Year's Dokkan Festival, which also introduced in this announcement, will become available. So it'll basically just revert into the normal banner with a bunch of step uh, featured units. So for the 20 step, for the first step, which costs 20 stones, the 10th character is guaranteed to, be, guaranteed to be a leader who can strengthen at least one of the following characters. Super, extreme, or category. Okay, so they have basically done what I predicted. They have made the first step a Dokkan Fest category section and they've basically assimilated the other stuff in there in terms of super and extreme and the monotypes are gone i think i would assume so we've got yeah <clears throat> here's a big list of oh my god turles if i pull turles once in this video i am gonna lose my freaking mind i don't want a turles i hate turles i keep pulling him second step 30 that's the normal category one and then uh Step three is the 50 stones one. Okay. So this is for the LR. Oh, so wait, did they? 20, 30, 50. That's going to give us our first LR, the old school LRs. Then we've got another 50 for the category leads again, followed by the last one. Okay, 50. So yeah, they've kind of uh, split the LRs into two sections. One is the OG ones, which will be getting easy A's, have already received or will be getting easy A's sooner rather than later. And then the second LR section is dedicated to the newer LRs that have been dropping recently. So let's just jump in and take a look at the banner. We're going to do at least one run through of this banner in this video. Uh, depending on how this goes, I might save the others for other videos. Or I might do some of this on the live stream. We'll have to wait and see. But for the very first round, we're going to do this in the video. So um, for... Oh yeah. So big, big notable changes is that... Uh, Global is getting, well, we, we also have the, the GT units, but we're also getting Broly, which is funny because the first official return of the Broly is supposed to be on the Super Vegeta banner, but we're instead getting it here. So if you guys were interested in getting the Broly and you happen to pull it on this, it could potentially save you on that upcoming Super Vegeta banner. That is if you care about the Broly, not for the Super Vegeta. So let's jump in and start with our first step. 20 stones, category unit. What are we going to pick up? As a whale, I do spend a lot on the game. I do have a lot of these units close to rainbow, if not rainbowed. Um, but I still want to have more because I do chain battle. I do other things with the SSR copies of the units. So I still have a lot to gain from this. Also, given the fact that you're getting a guaranteed featured on each of these multis, don't get too excited with those animations because uh, that's going to be happening a lot. All right, so let's... Uh... Maybe speed this up just a little bit. Oh, here we... Move on. Second step is another category lead. So we're going to jump in. This one's going to be 30 stones. I hate Turles. Why? I always pull him. That's why. 
that there's no context needed. I have been tormented for years by that stupid Turles, and it continues. All right, let's go. Next one. Oh my God! What are the chances, man? Ah! I wanted this to be a nice, dignified, calming video where we all celebrate the new year, and I start. <sighs> okay, so the uh, the better animation you're gonna want to go for on these types of summons is gonna be the god animation because that means you could be potentially getting a bunch of SSRs, including the guaranteed featured at the end. So that's kind of the if anything, if there's anything you got to be praying for, it's gonna be that. So we got the blue Kaioken there. That's not the guaranteed. The guaranteed is Lord Beerus. Okay. Um, I don't need that one, but I am working on the SSR of this guy, so I will take that. I will take it. So I got double featured on the uh, second step. That's actually pretty good. All right, so here we go, folks. Here is the guaranteed LR, and this is on the third step. So once again, folks, you'll be getting two opportunities at a guaranteed LR on each round. So we're going to start with this one. Since this is the first of the LRs, this is going to be the OG LRs. So if you pull something that you know you don't necessarily think is good, keep in mind that they will be getting EZAs. The most recent EZA to be announced in Dokkan is the LR Trunks and Goten. And I don't know if we know at this moment what that LR is going to be post EZA, but whatever it ends up being, if you pull that guy, he could be the, the newest, biggest, baddest LR in the game. So whatever you get here, honestly, you can't go wrong. Broly is a great LR, even to this day. That was the first LR EZA that we got. Broly STR is an amazing unit, so getting a Broly isn't a bad thing. All of these guys are going to be good or already good. So don't worry so much about this. No matter what you get, you're going to be in good hands. Watch me somehow pull a Turles or something. I don't know. What is my LR going to be? Fake out, fake out, fake out, fake out, fake out, fake out, fake out. Trunks. Okay, um, his EZA was already announced. I mean, it, we already know what it is. So that, that is, that, yeah, that, that's a pretty good one. I just maxed out his links though. I do have him rainbowed. I think this is the one LR that I have rainbowed other than Broly. Everybody else I think I could have used more copies for. So I'm kind of getting, you know, I, I'm having first world problems in terms of the units that I'm getting, but still you can't hate on these summons because this is exactly what you're getting. Like you're getting the guaranteed portion. That's the value here. And that's what we're getting. So now, with the guaranteed LR out of the way, we are on the newest section of the categories. This is probably going to contain some of the bigger, badder category leads, including the Broly. I would love to see if I could pull that Broly. Um, I was, was kind of hoping this would... I, I'm assuming this is actually pertaining to the, uh, to the fourth step here, because I'm seeing the Broly here. So I kind of want to pull that Broly. Um, I would like to pull a couple more Gohans, and I'd say that's... Pretty much the ones that I really care about. So yeah, let's let's see if I can pull either a Broly or a Kid Gohan on this one. I know there's going to be some of you in the comments who really don't care for the Super Vegeta, which is totally fine. If you're able to get the Broly here, it saves you 400 coins for having to spend that on that upcoming Dokkan Fest, and you all the while get to continue pulling LRs left and right on these step ups. So this is a big win for Global. All right, so what was my, I think my animation was just a fusion. So I think we're only gonna get the one featured at the end. All right, yep, bunch of sleepers, and I got Videl. All right, that is my feature. That is the, one of the newest, I think that is the cutoff unit in terms of the Dokkan Fest category leads other than Broly uh, for the step up, so, okay. Videl is my guaranteed lead for the Dokkan Fest category. Now, on the final step, we are getting, once again, one more LR. This time, it's some of the newer LRs that have released. As you can see here, this is the Year 6 Anniversary LR Frieza. So, this one gives me the Frieza and 17. So, let's see if we can pull something like that. I would, uh, I would not be opposed to pulling LR 17 Frieza because I think I need one more copy to actually rainbow the unit. That is the one unit out of the entire six-year anniversary, out of the LRs, I should say, that I didn't rainbow. Oh, whoa! Okay. 
I got the Kid Gohan Dokkan Fest on the LR stuff up. Okay, let's go. That's a dub for me. I take that. That is huge. I think mine is at 55 or 69%. Because that was a very skippable banner. So that is a big win for me. Here we go. Fake out. 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 Uh, Spear Bomb Absorbed Goku. Okay. Is that the guaranteed? I don't think it... Oh, it is. Okay. Alright. So, actually, I think I'm more excited for the Gohan. So, none of my guaranteed units actually were ones that I was too hyped about. Because I have them already done and taken care of. Like I said, whale problems. If you're a whale, you're probably not going to be enjoying this as much. But, I do accept this Kid Gohan uh, sneaky little surprise in here. So... There are two more rounds of this. I think I'm going to just leave it at that for right now. That is the step up in a nutshell. Three rounds. So if you have 600 stones and you are a moderate spender in this game, this is the banner to summon on. The best banner ever in all of Dokkan right here. Please enjoy this summon. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments, how were your summons on this step up? Did you do all three rounds? What'd you get? Did any of you guys pull the Broly? Did any of you guys get, I don't know, just crazy god animation 5 SSR summons? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future. And click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned. And always remember to step up responsibly. And Happy New Year.